now you have your Surat object with the annotations that came from the A data as well. All right, this tutorial is going to pain me to do, but I know some of you are obsessed with Surat, or maybe there's some very specific R package you want to use. I personally would try to do everything I can in Python, but Anyways, let's do it. I'm just going to mimic the 10x file. So the 10x output gives you three files, so we're just going to recreate those. So first, we're going to have to import scanp. And we'll also have to import io from scipy. First, let's make a directory to save the files in. So I'm going to save those three files in a directory called matrix files. And then I'm going to open up the a data. So I have this H5AD dataset from the Tabula Sapiens, which is a prime example of where the data available online is already in this and data object. So depending on the data set, it might not be the raw data. So this has already been processed, but a lot of the times the raw data is also saved within the object. So I'm going to convert it back to the raw data. So first, we're going to make the barcode file and all the barcodes would just be the a data dot obs names. So here's the barcodes. So we're just going to simply write this to a TSV. So we're just looping over every barcode and saving it to the file which we just created named barcodes TSV within that matrix files directory. So next we need to save a file for the features or the genes. So to get that from the a data object, we just look at the var names and we're going to do something similarly to this. But the feature file has three columns, which is basically just the gene name, the gene name again, and then a column that just says gene expression. So we're going to modify this list to mimic that. So we have this, we're just going to loop over it just like this and save it. Then we have to write the gene expression matrix. And the dot X is the expression matrix from the A data. And then Surat uses a transposed version. So we have to pass dot P to transpose it. So if we look at the matrix files directory, you can see that I accidentally overwrote the file. This is supposed to be features. But if we look in here now, you see we have the barcodes, features, and matrix file. But Surat's going to expect gzipped files. So let's just pass gzip to all the files in that directory. Finally, we have these three files that we can open up in Surat. But of course, we wanted to transfer the annotations over. We can save this as a CSV. Now we can go on over to R. And one thing I will point out is that you could easily put this in a Python text file so you don't have to do this in a Jupyter Notebook. So we can go ahead and open up that data just like you would any normal 10x output just by pointing at the matrix directory. And then we want to go ahead and open up that metadata as a data frame. Cell ID or the barcode needs to be the row names of this data frame instead of just a column. And then we can call the create Surat object function. Now you have your Surat object with the annotations that came from the A data as well. Now you can do whatever your heart desires in Surat, although at the end of the day, we all know that scanp is better.